good afternoon YouTube so um I thought I'd show you my tank because last time you saw no fish <laughs> so you have to excuse my reflection of my door um, some new stuff added this week mainly this big old Duncan up there he's a beast um, over 50 heads I think I counted so I have no idea how long it takes to get that big but very happy with that uh, I moved some stuff around I've been slowly working on the tank I've got a film going on uh, I don't know if the camera can pick that up so I moved the outlet to give it some ripple on the top which is probably not a bad thing so I'm hoping that will take care of that I've literally just done that uh, let me get the fish before they all disappear because they all think I'm going to feed them. My scopus tang, my sail fin, fox face, there's my clown as always. And uh, the clown lives in the Ghaniapora, which I actually moved. I done some fragging last week. I oh, guess I'll take you around. Uh, I moved the leather because I thought he was getting too much flow, but then he totally closed up and he wasn't happy. So I guess he really likes it there. So that's where he's staying. I fragged the Montipora because it was getting a little crazy. Um, I got a new coral which I fragged up and it starts with L and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But that guy there, I guess it comes as a jack-o'-lantern which I don't think that is. So I fragged various pieces and stuck around. Hopefully it's a reasonably fast grower. And uh, we'll cover the rock work. Oh yes, a new piece of live rock as well. So uh, Goni looks very happy there. And of course the clown likes to live in there. What else has been going on? Well, my bubble tip anemone, which I tried to show you last time, um, decided to move. A uh, much better place. I don't know if he's going to decide to stay there. I am guess he's looking for the light because uh, he's under the eye, AI right there. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to give the flowers or rock anemones any trouble or vice versa. I do not know. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how that goes because I don't fancy moving any of these guys even if I could move them. Oh, we got a man down here. My leather, which uh, I did frag a little piece of. I'm not sure if I showed you that last time. Uh, right there, and they're doing very good. I had to move the um, bird's nest down here because it's, I originally had them up by the Montipora, but I guess they're getting too much light or something. They started to bleach out. I moved them down there a couple days ago and uh, they seem to be picking up, but I'll keep an eye on them. I'm starting to wish I'd never fragged it. But, you know, you live and learn. Oh, what else is going on? Got the frogs spawn up there. They're doing good. Yeah, put some more of that stuff at Starts of Ale. <laughs> Over there. Hoping to cover the rock eventually. And that's about it. All the fish seem pretty good. Everybody's happy. Everybody's hungry, of course. So, overall, very happy. That little guy. Low mower, where'd he go? Low mower Blemmy. He is probably the number one guy for my cleanup crew. That and the um, strawberry punches, I got two of them. Which I cannot find. They just do a fantastic job cleaning. So that's how I'm looking right now. I'm thinking I need some yellow in the tank. Um, probably get some Zoes or something. Some yellow ones to put in there. Eh, I just need some more splash of color. Eh, too much green. Maybe some more red to go in there. So that's about it. Hope everyone's having a really good day. Happy reefing. And I will see you on the next one.